He could not believe that ordinary people in the culture really wanted the war, no matter how they had voted. They had their communist utopia, they were soft and pampered and indulged, and the contact section's evangelical materialism provided their conscience-salving good works. What more could they want? In Ian M. Bank's popular science fiction series known as the Culture Series, Contact is a division within the culture that deals with the interaction of alien and foreign societies outside the culture as well as matters of a military nature. Contact is the culture section that concerns itself with the discovery, classification, investigating, calculating and, if deemed sensible, interacting with civilizations outside the culture's expansive reach. It handles almost all interactions between the culture and elements of non-culture. While seen as an important part of the culture activity in the known universe, contact is a relatively small part of what makes up the culture as a whole and the majority of ordinary citizens would never encounter a contact agent or ship. The culture's modus operandi, rather than encourage immigration or extensive incorporation of other civilizations, is to instead subtly guide less advanced civilizations to fulfil their potential, often by covertly influencing politics and wars via the contact section. When it's believed appropriate, contact controls the transition of individuals, groups or occasionally whole civilizations into the culture. Contact also oversees the voluntary withdrawal of citizens from the culture to civilizations of their choice, and where considered appropriate, takes it upon itself to remove any thought to be unfair technological or informational advantage the citizen in question may use against the population in its new society. During the Adiran culture war, Contact acted as the culture's armed forces. Purpose-built culture warcraft were uncommon in the early years and were replaced by general contact vehicles and general contact units. These ships were heavily engaged and outnumbered. Contact's fleet were a secondary line of defence for preserving the culture. The first line consisted of large habitats, including orbitals and rocks, with the last being the Oblationaries, also known as the Forgotten. In the event that a culture-wide calamity occurred that destroyed the culture, one or more of the Oblationaries would have reseeded either this galaxy or a different galaxy with something that would have been recognisably culture. Contact itself has a number of specialist subunits. The Numina, Quietus and Restoria divisions were formally created during a reorganisation during the 3rd millennium CE. The Numina deals with the sublimed, alien civilizations who have left the known dimensions of space-time behind to take up residence in several higher dimensions. The Quietus deals with virtually extant, if physically dead, entities such as those residing in afterlives, a virtual environment containing souls or mind states after physical death. And the Restoria section deals with homogenizing swarm outbreaks, a term given to groups of self-replicating entities with no purpose beyond expanding, multiplying and turning every piece of matter they encounter into more of themselves. The Restoria section is nicknamed Pest Control. And then there is Special Circumstances. Special Circumstances had always been the contact section's moral espionage weapon, the very cutting edge of the culture's interfering diplomatic policy, the elite of the elite, in a society which abhorred elitism. Even before the war, its standing and its image within the culture had been ambiguous. Special Circumstances, known as SC for short, is a subset of contact that assigns itself to the handling of unusual, delicate, stealthy, covert or otherwise special situations. Special Circumstances was originally part of contact. After the early years of the Idiran culture war, while still relatively young, SC was formally disassociated from contact and became an independent organisation of its own. The split occurred because SC's activities could not be morally justified with contact. Commonly regarded with a combination of contempt and veneration by the culture at large, SC performs the dirtiest and bloodiest work that the culture, in SC's opinion, needs to do. 
Seen as a euphemism for military intelligence, SC often acts outside the values and morality of the culture in order to propagate and preserve those same values. In special circumstances, we deal with the moral equivalent of black holes, where the normal laws, the rules of right or wrong that people imagine apply everywhere else in the universe, break down. Beyond those metaphysical event horizons, there exist special circumstances. Since the culture is an anarchist society with no government, SC is not a sanctioned group. By common practice and custom, however, SC inserts itself into situations in which it believes a slackening of ordinary culture moralities is needed. From time to time, this may irritate other divisions of the culture who deal with irregular situations. Being admitted into contact is difficult, and they routinely turn away scores of individuals that apply. Special circumstances is considered even more particular with participation to join coming only by invitation. This exclusivity, combined with the often morally ambiguous or absolute unpleasant strategies they occasionally employ, leads to a certain amount of negative feeling among average culture citizens, while at the same time an SC agent is often seen as glamorous, alluring and exciting. It was glamorous but dangerous, possessed of an aura of roguish sexiness, there was no other word for it, which implied predation, seduction and even violation. No other part of the culture more exactly represented what the society as a whole really stood for, or was more militant in the application of the culture's fundamental beliefs, yet no other part embodied less of the society's day-to-day -day character.